welcome ladies and gentlemen to another edition of binary life binary life is a channel that teaches new developers how to code by solving multiple algorithms so that you can see how the thought process is done and how we arrive at the solution today we are going to solve a six q cutter on code wars called data reverse let's read it to try to understand a stream of data will be received and needs to be reversed like this is a stream of data here which is essentially a 32 um, bit long which is essentially 32 bit long and uh, each segment is 8 bit so this is like four segments and we have to reverse the segments not the individual bits but the segments like this is the this is the last segment it becomes the first year this is the third segment here it becomes the second here now the total number of bits will always be a multiple of eight that means for our test samples here we may not always be given 32 we might be given 16 if we're given a 16 bits as input the input will be like this an array of bits if we are given like a 16 input which, which means we're going to have two segments if we are given 24 we're going to have three segments you see where i'm going through so if we take the number of the total length of the data and divide by eight we're going to get the number of segments and now in order to reverse each of so uh, when the data is given we need to determine the number of segments first that's our first thing to do which is just dividing by eight like for this case it's 32 bit if we divide by eight we get four which means there are four segments now we need to determine the different multiples of eight so that we can get um the limits of our segment like here this is the first segment here it's in matter of eight digits this is the second segment it's also made of eight digits that starts from the eighth index to the 16th so it goes 8 16 24 32 all those numbers are just called those are multiples of eight that is why we're going to get a function that is going to return to us a multiple because we're going to use those multiples to get the limits of the segments so that we can use those limits to reverse so what am i going to do i'm going to create a function let's say get multiples and it's going to take our data length and uh, we're going to create a result result and we're going to put everything inside those multiples for now how are we going to come about those multiples if we take a variable i that starts at zero and ends at uh, the data length divided by eight i is less than this i plus plus so what am i doing here in order to get the multiple let's start from the beginning this is an 32 bits long and uh if we take 32 and divide by 8 we get 4 which means we are going to have four segments like for this scenario now we need to have since we we know that we're going to have four segments i want to get the first four multiples of eight because those multiples is going to determine our limits of each segment that's what i'm trying to do get the first four multiples of eight so inside this result i'm going to to push um i multiply by eight if i console log it you see what i mean if i console log the result and probably return later and let's call that let's call that function here get multiples get multiples of data dot length what do we get so far 
I have an error. Let's try to debug that. Um, this is the data length divided by eight. It's a semicolon here, not the column. All right. I see I have an error. Syntax missing. The parentheses. Now this is the open of the parentheses here. Yeah, it's just a for loop, sorry. So it's a for loop. Right. This is our result so far. So these are multiples of eight. You can see that the first the first segment starts from zero to eight. The second segment starts from eight to sixteen. The third segment starts from 16 to 24, and the last segment from 24 to 30. So that's actually what I needed. Now, um, remember that we have to reverse this. So I'm going to reverse my, my multiples here so that it becomes easy for me. I'm going to push in the middle on shift rather. And uh, let's test. So we're going to reverse in that order. We're going to take this interval here from our bits and it will constitute our first reversal segment here and then we take the next 24 to 16 and then we take the next 16 to 8 and then we take the next 8 to 0 that's what we're going to do so here after getting the, the multiples i'll just put it uh inside a variable here like multiples i'm going to create a for loop that loops through the data and collects every uh, segment so i'm going to start from let g g starts at uh, the very beginning here It just starts at zero. And why G is less than um, our multiples that length minus one. Um, you're going to get the minus one after that. I'm going to explain to you why so um plus plus what do i do let's console log this loop this is j so this is our multiple loop here i'm essentially looping through it and displaying the indices like this is zero one two three i've just looked at this I'm not starting here uh, for a reason because for our first statement I'm going to say uh, collect let's just let's just explain so that you see what I is let's just go ahead so um, before I proceed you may like to understand the slice how to slice an array so here let's go to the node console if I have say an array that is made up of something like this Now, this is my array. If I say array.slice, I slice from the second index, I slice to the third. This is what I get. Oh, let's say to the feet. This is what I get. So, which is the second index? 0, 1, 2. The second index is 44. So, from 44, the second, fourth feet. This is 44 is the second, this is third, fourth, fifth. So it takes from the second to the fifth index without including the fifth index number here. I'm going to use that scenario here. Like here, I'm going to take from the 24th to the 32nd bit. That is going to constitute our first reverse segment. And I'm going to put that in an answer. Let me just create a variable called answer. 
that's going to contain our final answer and if you see from this example slice returns a sub array all right be careful about that so what am i going to do here i'm going to go into our answer and i'm going to push remember i'm starting from our loop is looping from zero from the zeroth index to the length minus one here so what am i going to do i'm going to push the data after it has been sliced in order to get a first segment and watch is the first segment is multiples of um j plus one right up to multiples of g i'm essentially saying slice from 24 to 32 to so the number ahead to the number behind that's why you see plus one and without the one here so what do we get if i um console log already what we have so that you can see so if i console the log answer what do we get we get something like this you can see one two three four five six seven. we can get our fragments already been there we have our sub arrays the different slices now in order to our final answer is not supposed to be sub arrays it's supposed to be a flat array so in order to flatten it i'm just going to use a spread operator like that and let's re run our code this is what we get which means we can actually return it right now return and we get our answer so i can run one last attempt here and i'm going to remove all the console logs so that we get a neater code something like that let's run again and let's attempt and the submit right um i think we get something almost similar this follow-up is like getting our multiples you see it has a step of it and then we have our our slicing is the same philosophy just another way to write this is using a regular expression yeah but this regular expression this is just about getting the steps of our different bit segments the same scenario this for loop is our multiples and this is the different slicing so um i'm going to stop here for now almost every algorithm uses the same philosophy just another way to write we just broke it down into two simple functions so that it's easier to understand. I'm going to stop here for now and thanks you for viewing and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for other solving problems.